Um, I've been thinking a lot about Poe Dameron because it is a day that ends in Y. No, um, specifically I've been thinking about Poe because of uh, the book Resistance Reborn that just came out. Uh, we're going to be doing a review of that over on Trash Compactor. But I have some very specific thoughts on him that I don't I'm going to be able to talk about on the podcast. So I love Poe. Um, I love Poe so much. Um, and it is not just because I would let Oscar Isaac do things to me that I'm sure are illegal in several countries. Uh, though, I, I mean, come on, have you seen that hair? Um, but yeah, I was been thinking about his arc through The Last Jedi, and I know a lot of people have had problems with that, um, specifically his interactions with Holdo. And I think a lot of the books that are coming out right now are really trying to explain exactly what went down there. Even though I think it was obvious in the movie, it's just a lot of people didn't want it to be obvious. Um, and that is Poe really fucked up. I love him, but he fucked up. Um, and I think The Last Jedi was so much about um, subverting expectations of Star Wars and certainly in Star Wars we have been conditioned to love the hotshot pilot who will put himself in harm's way because I mean that's like what Han Solo did that's what you know all of the X-Wing pilots do you know when they're going after the Death Star or whatever we love ourselves some pilots who get themselves into trouble and so Poe, at the beginning of The Last Jedi, what he does is awesome. It is so cool. Him taking on this dreadnought all by himself. I loved it. Like, that scene was great. Um, but what happens afterwards, if you actually think about what condition the Rebellion is in, and what they're trying to do at the time, what Poe does is so unbelievably stupid. They are just, I don't know exactly how long passes between The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi, but I'm guessing it's just a week at most. So the rebel, the Resistance has taken on Starkiller Base, and yay, they were, victor they were the victors in this battle against Starkiller Base, but they lost a hell of a number of people. They lost a lot of people, and a lot of the people that flew in that mission are no longer on Dakar. They've gone off and are doing a mission that comes up later in the Poe Dameron comics. So that's why we don't see um, uh, Greg Grunberg's character, Snap Wexley. It's why we don't see uh, Jess Pava. All of these people off doing something else. So that is a lot of Poe's team is not there. He's just got some people. Meanwhile, they're trying to evacuate this base. So Poe's mission was to create a safe passage for all of these ships that are trying to evacuate to Car. So he's going in to try to take out all of these uh, guns and stuff, but he decides, oh, I'm going to overstep. I'm, let's take this entire thing out. But the, the resistance is totally outmanned, outgunned. I have a cat <laughs> meowing at my door. Come in. You, you gotta come in. I'm recording a vlog right now and people are gonna wonder what the heck is going on. Come on. Pond, do you wanna come up? No, she's just gonna go sit down. Yeah, I have four cats and they are very demanding and I love them and will give them anything they want, even if it means interrupting my vlogs. Um, so 
what was I saying? I was talking about the um, attacking the dreadnought. So the only thing I don't really understand is why the rest of the resistance fleet followed Poe's orders. Because obviously Leia didn't want Poe to do that. But everybody else kind of goes along with them. So I'm guessing that like Leia wasn't able to like communicate with them. Like while she is being evacuated, she's only able to talk to Poe, but Poe's able to talk to everyone else. And he's like, well, this is what we're going to do. That's the only thing that makes sense to me. But anyways, still, what happens during the evacuation of Dakar? Not a smart thing. It costs them so many fighters and costs them probably even more later on because all of these people got taken out. And maybe if they had been able to have more of those ships, then when the First Order attacked them again later on, they wouldn't have gotten hit so badly. Maybe the command deck wouldn't have been hit, and then Admiral Akbar wouldn't have died, and Leia wouldn't have almost died. Uh, and I think one of the biggest things I see people bring up when they're talking about Poe's storyline in The Last Jedi is, well, why didn't Holdo just tell him what she was planning to do? And my answer to that is, have you guys ever heard of the Chain of Command? The Chain of Command is what Holdo uses to tie Poe down to her bed in the thick no one has sent me yet. No, seriously. Uh, no, send me that thick. Um, Poe has proven himself to not be a leader. That is what Leia was lecturing him about. He does not think about what is strategically best for the resistance and ends up losing a bunch of their fleet. And he gets himself demoted. And so Holdo has absolutely no reason to think that he is trustworthy to tell her plan to. Because in the military, you don't just have this huge meeting with everyone and be like, here's exactly what we're doing. Especially in a military situation like this, when they're in an active war. Because look at what happens when Poe is sharing information with Rose and Finn. It ends up being found out by DJ, who tells it to the First Order. And then things really get fucked up. I've been trying not to swear on these. Well, okay, yeah, I curse like a sailor, so it might happen sometimes. Um, but yeah, Poe has been insubordinate to Leia, of all people. So with somebody who does not know him, who only has this, seen him as this hotshot pilot who cannot be trusted, there is no reason why Holdo should tell him her plan. Because she's in charge. And I've seen a lot of people make comments about her purple hair, and her purple dress. And as somebody with purple hair and many purple dresses, fuck you, I can be in charge when I want to be. And certainly, Laura Dern, if she wants to be in charge, she can be in charge. But yeah, I like that The Last Jedi shows Poe as this hotshot pilot that needs to be torn down so that he can become a real leader because so many people equated Poe to Han Solo because he is a hotshot pilot, he is very attractive, but seriously in terms of like the main trio, Poe is Leia. I mean you have Rey is the Luke role, Finn I'd say is the Han role, and then Poe is Leia. He's the one who is going to be driving the resistance. So we needed to like break down all of the Han Soloisms that were with him. 
where he's going off on his own and being heroic um, and, and not answering to anybody. He needs to become the leader that Leia is. And Leia is measured. Leia understands what risk is. And this is something that Poe only realizes going through The Last Jedi and finding out that when he is rash and impulsive, it costs him, like, Paige, and it costs him all of the other people in the evacuation on Dakar. And then when he's rash later on, when he's doing his mutiny, it ends up costing them Holdo, who is one of their last um, commanders. So, yeah, no, he fucks up a lot. And I really like how the books that are coming out are examining this in him because unfortunately we don't have Carrie Fisher for The Rise of Skywalker. We do have little bits of her, but certainly it's not going to be enough to do as big a story as they wanted to with her. So I think Poe is going to be filling in that role as the leader of the resistance. And he needs to convincingly get to a point where he can be the absolute, you know, authority on everything and not just be this hot-headed pilot who all he cares about is flying his X-Wing really fast. I, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love it when he flies his X-Wing really fast, but he needs to be more than that. So that's probably all I have to say about that for now. You know, other than the fact that, you know, I, I love that the the books that are coming out right now I, I are focusing on Poe and I love that they're talking about Poe's hair a lot and uh, Spark of the Resistance by Justina Ireland he is recognized by the First Order by his luxurious hair so I kind of wonder if his like wanted hollow um, actually like says under identifying marks fabulous hair that 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 thought makes me really happy. <laughs>